All right, a long time ago, I wanted to be a public speaker, but I could not speak in front of the public. I'm sure most people can't, and this is really difficult. Well, this is getting easier, and a long time ago when I was in school, I would have like a report due, and I, you'd have to go in front of the class and talk about it. I would freak out, get so much anxiety that I wouldn't go to school or I'd tell the teacher I didn't do my project and I would just take the F and fail. I would just take the L and move on because I was so stressed out that I had to get in front of people and talk and I couldn't do it. So I was like, how on earth am I gonna speak in front of hundreds of thousands of people on a stage and relay this message to them? So somehow I need to break out of the shell. So there was a club at school a couple of years ago called Talk the Tick. It's where you explain your why of chiropractic. And I've like put one foot in, one foot out, one foot in, say I do it, never show up for my speech. Say I do it, not show up for my speech. So one day I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do it. It is what it is. I'm too old for this. I'm like 40 at this point. Like, who cares? Like, who cares? So I did it. And then I ended up signing up to do a speech every week for the next like 40 weeks. And every week I would just show up. And when I would write the speech, it was terrible. Then I said, I'm just not going to write the speech. And whatever happens when I get up there is going to happen. And that was the best thing I've ever done. And those talks and speeches came out the best because they were from the heart, they were honest, they were real, and I didn't have to do all this mm, manipulation of the crowd and you know hit these points and have an intro and say this. And that, that's what I notice on Instagram and that's where I get kind of like really frustrated and annoyed when I see all these videos and the people starting to create videos, all they're doing is parroting information. Like one of this guy, all he does is recite David Hawkins' um, Letting Go book. And he made his whole YouTube about that. Like all he does is take each section of David Hawkins' Letting Go and just regurgitate it and parrot it. And then tell like a little story with it. So when I watch these like videos, I used to study um, how to be a pickup artist, you know, mystery and... Um, you know, I don't know if you guys even know what that is, but it's, it's called a, a pickup artist where you'll like, you know, approach a woman and, you know, have a cold opener and then neg the woman and da, 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 da. You know, so I used to study that because I was so scared to just be genuine, honest, authentic and talk to women, you know, and then I would study all this alpha male stuff. And all it was is an act. It's just a complete act. It's not authentic. It's just a cover up for you wanting to control everything. And that's the number one thing in addiction when you go to AA and you read all that stuff. It's all about letting go of control. And the reason we're addicted to things is because we want control. So, you know, learning all that stuff is a way to control. Um, so back to the story. So what I'm talking about is all these influencers, all these people online, I keep noticing they're all parrots and they just keep regurgitating information from other channels and they just see what works and then they copy the same thing and then they tell the same kind of story and then you know they use cool backgrounds and they follow all the, the filters and the molds and then the titles and they just say the same exact thing you know and it's like if you speak well and you're a good actor yes people will listen but you know what's real authenticity when you really do this stuff and you really feel it the audience feels that and they love it and they follow you and they respect you and they want to be a part of it other than that they're just trying to download information real quick look for a quick fix you're saying a bunch of buzzwords a bunch of keywords um, there's something called neuro linguistic programming and this is done in sales and seduction and it's really good stuff if you're trying to manipulate someone or get something from someone and a lot of people are these big guys they get on stage and they tony robbins rah 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 you know and that's how you like pump up the crowd and then then you slow down your voice and then you come at them like this and then you do a pause and then the crowd is hooked and then you plug in your sales or whatever you're going to sell them and like you know, it's a whole bunch of manipulation it's all an act and it's all nonsense and like i'm tired of looking at it all over the internet anytime i go on instagram on youtube and i'm watching these young kids start creating videos to sell stuff 
Like you're not gonna sell anything online. Like it is so hard to do this and market and get an audience and people actually buy off of this. It's really hard. Very few can do it. And the ones that do do it, do a great job. And then they turn around and sell you the recipe or they just start with selling you the recipe. This is how you do it. This is how you get set up. These are the words you have to use. These are the tags you put. This is how you speak. Put your hands up, put your hands down, make eye contact, slow down your voice, deepen your voice, talk from here, say these couple words, create urgency, create fear. The food that the Americans are giving us are killing us. Did you know that? They're killing us. Like all this kind of manipulation stuff and it's just not honest or genuine. And I'm tired of looking at content like that. And then the bad part about it is these people are getting 100K followers, 1 million followers. They're making money from ads. They're, they're profiting from this. And then the motive changes. Money becomes the motive, not the content, not the authenticity, not the realism. You know, and then they start selling you anything. They start selling you dreams because they know you're hooked. They start selling you food plans, coaching plans, wellness plans that don't help anybody. If you go to the doctor and they give you medicine, does it really get to the root cause? No, I don't know why I said that, but these people are selling garbage and it's making life harder for Americans and they're getting hit with nonsense left and right. And that's what really annoys me. Like they don't walk it like they talk it. Maybe aesthetically they look good, but they're sacrificing a lot behind the scenes, eating only certain foods, using filters, coming up with buzzwords and using manipulation tactics and following a mold from somebody else. Half the time, these people have not done anything in life. You know, most of the time, these guys are like 22 to 27. They don't really have any life experience. They haven't really made any money. They haven't really had too much experience, maybe a little bit, but not enough to be talking the way they're talking. And all they're doing is regurgitating information that they've read on the internet. Some are really good at parroting it and others use AI to write the script and you can actually look at the screen and read the script to people. So if you're a good news reporter, broadcaster, yeah, it all sounds good. And it's been written already, so it's proven that this stuff people love to read. Like David Hawkins' Letting Go book is an excellent book for self-help. If I sit here and parrot it and I look a certain way and I use different tones and infliction, yeah, I can sell it back to you and you'll love my channel and you wanna watch for the next thing. And it's David Hawkins' work, not my real life, you know? And when these coaches talk to you, they're like, okay, you gotta tell a story. People love hearing stories. So, you know, if you have a real one, it's even better. But if not, here's a couple of stories, just make them up, get really good at saying them so that people will believe it's your own story. And half these times, these people are telling these stories from their experience, it's not, it's not even real. Like, you know, and it sounds good and it's good acting and people are eating this stuff up and following these people. And that's what my whole gripe is. And that's the whole reason like I wanna get on here and really spread some true information to you guys and have you get better for real and show you it's possible and empower you to do something good. You know, not to buy my coaching system later or to buy my anything. You know, I'm a doctor, I make money there. I'm doing this to better and empower the patients and the people around me. And I have a really strong message that I need to get out to the masses. So the only way to do that is through social media, YouTube, you know, I hate being on this thing. I honestly believe it pulls all my dopamine out. It lowers my life force. It sucks you dry, you know, and I've noticed that over time. Like when I get on here, I feel so drained. Um, the speaking feels good, but like after, if I play on Instagram or scroll a little bit, I feel so drained. So that's a whole nother story I'll talk about is dopamine hits and edging. And there's a lot of science and people always go for science. I'm not gonna get into the science. I'm just going from honest truth and experience of what I felt. I'm not gonna go quote PubMed for anything. I'm not gonna go on NBCI, whatever. You know, in school, I learned how to do all that to quote and cite sources and fact check um, as a chiropractor to make sure everything's honest. 
But what I found is most of the stuff is not honest because the people paying for these studies are the ones paying the scientists. So of course it's gonna turn out in their favor, you know, and everything's objective. And, you know, there's always people arguing on the internet and they always come at me with like PubMed and they cite their sources and science, da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you do in real life? What do you eat every day? Why do you look like that? Why are you bald? Why are you overweight? Why is your blood work terrible? Why do you still have disease? If you know all this information, you know, like stop with the arguments and justifying all the comments with PubMed and cited sources and science said this and science said that, but we're all dying because of science and we're all having issues, mental issues. And then we get diagnosed with 900 things and people get stuck in these stories. Oh, I'm, I'm ADHD, I can't, da, 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 da. I'm dyslexic, I can't do this. You know, I have an injury here, I can never walk again. Yeah, there is circumstances where things like that do happen, but too many people are relying on it. And too many people are internet gangsters and they, they really like go for these PubMed articles and cite these sources and like guys like Paul Saladino that start state all these, you know, people loves facts and he's like, oh, this, 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 this. And then two weeks later, oh, that study's irrelevant. Rats, you can't, you can't justify that off of rats. And, you know, people call him out on this, but people still follow this garbage. And now he promotes a product. This one, this guy really annoys me. Now he promotes this heart and whatever product and okay well if we're eating real foods why are we taking supplements you know practice with you know be honest with the people stop doing it for money you know and then why on earth would you do videos with your shirt off you know that's like a woman talking about something naked like okay are we trying to sell something we're we trying to manipulate people what are we doing here like why are men doing these things with their shirts off like you know, imagine going to a business meeting to sell somebody something and you, you're doing it with your shirt off. You know, imagine going to the CEO to sell him your little heart pill shirt off and talking about all these facts and da 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 da. Like, come on with the nonsense, you know? Think about really why you're doing it. Like, really go deep and be like, like Simon Sinek said, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. That's a big thing, you know? And if your why is real, you have no issues. You won't have to do all these manipulation and all this garbage to get the thing sold and do all these tactics. It'll be genuine and honest and it'll sell. They buy your why. So understand that when you're doing stuff. And then really go deep when you start creating these videos and parroting stuff. Understand why you're doing it. Like, is it for money? Is it for fame? Is it for clout? Do you wanna help people? I understand if you need money in the world and like everyone needs money, but go really deep after, okay, is it the money? Do I need this money? Am I doing it only for the money? Do I really want to help people? Like, you know, go deep within yourself and really see why you do certain things. Like, why am I checking out all these women? You know, like, why am I lusting after women all the time? Why am I... You know, that's a whole nother story about PMO and semen retention. And, you know, I've practiced that for almost two years now. That's life changing if you want to go somewhere with something, you know. So that's a whole whole nother topic. So I, I've just gone on and on about a bunch of stuff today. If you got anything good from this video, wonderful.